now we segue into the plan part two for today. And the idea is to use computational cognitive modeling to formally articulate right, this potential process of pronoun interpretation in the context of these multiple cues. So the computational cognitive model, again, is going to formally articulate and implement what we think are relevant aspects of pronoun interpretation in context, right? So again, the whole point with modeling is like, we as the modeler are choosing what this process looks like. And okay, so we're making choices about what we think the relevant aspects are of pronoun interpretation in context. And so here, we're gonna implement how a modeled listener is going to represent pronoun information and deploy that information in order to predict the probability of a particular interpretation in context, which we can then match right against these rates of, you know, of, of choosing the subject as the interpretation. Uh, so then we're going to see which options for representation and deployment best match child right, versus adult pronoun interpretation behavior. Now, uh, this is for us is going to then articulate how children differ right, from adults as the developmental part and what needs to develop in children for them to become adult-like in their pronoun interpretation. So the model is itself going to use Bayesian inference to implement the cognitive mechanism that combines information together to generate a particular interpretation in context. And uh, Bayesian inference is just for your information, commonly used to model human cognition in general and language development in particular because it generally matches human behavior really, really, really well. I've written some recent reviews about this to say, no, really, it's, it's okay to use Bayesian inference to, to try to capture what that cognitive process looks like because it does a pretty good job. So the particular Bayesian model that we use is adapted from Gagliardi, Feldman, and Lins of University of Maryland and offers one way uh, to separate the contributions of information representation versus information deployment in the moment. And so that's why it's very useful for our purposes here, where we're trying to understand the different contributions of these two aspects of pronoun interpretation and context.